Hello everybody, we are live at the 2016 Smart City Expo World Congress in beautiful Barcelona. Today, this place beneath the Skywalk and right beside the Smart City Plaza is the most dynamic one on the planet when it comes to meet, show, learn, share and gather inspiration about the future of cities. Visitors from more than 100 countries and representatives of more than 560 cities are here on site. My today's guest is the Director of Urban Development of Global City Centre and Competence in London. Welcome, Julie Alexander. Hi, Julie. Hi. Nice to meet you again. Julie, you and your team of around about 30 members work in the probably most sustainable building in the world, the Crystal in London. It's described as a think tank showcase and exhibition all in once and everything is interconnected like it will be in smart cities in near future before talking about your today's main topic the return and invest on smart cities infrastructure i would like to give us all another insight do you think it is possible to map all the processes modern cities have to cope with well, cities are very complex and understanding the systems in cities is becoming increasingly difficult. But if we add a digital layer to those systems, it becomes a bit easier to understand what's going on. There are many sensors in cities today, people with phones, cars, traffic lights, lots of information is being collected. If we pull that together at the city level and understand it, it becomes easier to understand and map those city systems. A number of cities are financially struggling. Some say cities, let's not mention Liverpool here, will soon only be able to found their social costs. With it so important to take a different view on the benefits of investments in smart cities infrastructure, or in other words, why does data transform the way we look at capital and revenues or operational and maintenance costs? Well, we're looking at pieces of research that un tries to understand some of these issues. So first of all, we try to explain the benefits that come from digital infrastructure, such as enhanced performance, optimization, reduced costs of operation. And we work with five cities in Europe who are each at a different process in their smart city journey. The idea of the research really is to establish the new business case for digital infrastructure investment and what the return on investment looks like. And one of the main outputs of the report will be how do we or how should we value uh, investment differently in the future? And what are the new models of ownership that need to arise as a result of that? How we can package together infrastructure and service delivery such that the investor can see new benefits and identify the correct business case for them. How exactly does the planning of classic investments of cities differ to investments in smart city infrastructure? Well, what we're looking at are what we call four different layers of value. So the first layer of value is the typical return on investment model. What does it cost in capital, in operational terms? What are the revenues and what are the savings? That's how projects are typically considered. What we are then looking at are other values that arise to the investors, such as enhanced reputational value, increased market share, also operational efficiencies within their business. So those two layers of value are directed at the investor. But then we look at a third layer of value, which are the benefits that arise to the city as a result of that investment. This could be things like improved air quality, reduced congestion, reduction in carbon. We quantify that, we monetize that, and we build that into the model. And then the final layer of value that should be considered for digital infrastructure is the benefit and the value that comes from the data. This is very hard to quantify because so many people can do so many different things with data. But the investment in the digital economy as a result of capturing that data, releasing it, opening it up to small businesses, and developing new applications and new business models will contribute so much value to the digital economy at large and all cities should be encouraged to look at that on every digital infrastructure project that they deploy. What value can digital economy contribute to smart investments and what are the methodology with which you collected and modeled the data to create meaningful so-called cash flow graphics? 
Well, through this process, we first of all identify the cities in question as cities that would be um, at different stages in their own process. And we met with the cities over the period of two days to discuss what their aspirations are, what their opportunities and what their challenges are to really understand what would be appropriate within that city. We then did some desktop research looking at online sources of information to establish what would be appropriate in those particular locations. And then we built a techno-economic model. So this is a model bespoke to this research with quite a high level of complexity because we're looking across multiple infrastructure sectors, including buildings, energy, traffic, mobility, and security. The model contains local data that the cities have provided, as well as our industry knowledge and assumptions that we've made in certain circumstances. And the idea is that we can provide a return on investment graph that not only shows the financial return, but all these additional returns that arise to the city and the investor. Ultimately, the five cities will come together in one report, which we will publish, which everyone will be able to share, where we can see all these different return on investment benefits. And the report will be published, hopefully, at the end of this year or the beginning of next year. Thank you very much for this detailed information of your work, research and new look on return on the best for smart cities infrastructure. Julia Alexander, everyone, don't forget to save the day tomorrow, same time, same channel, live again. We are happy to announce that Martin Powell will be joining us, the head of urban development within Siemens Global City Center of Competence for Cities. We'll be taking about new data and what they mean in terms of social transformation. Bye-bye from Barcelona for today and thanks for watching.